Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will create a dictionary using Python. Uh, we'll actually do web scrapping and get data from some website. So first, we'll open our CMD. We'll need two modules. One is requests and another is beautiful soup. So first, we'll uh, install the request module using pip install and we'll give the module name requ ESTS and click enter. This will uh, install as the module and another module is beautiful soup B -E -A -U. 4 don't forget the 4 at the end and it will install as the uh, beautiful soup module. I will tell you the use of both modules while writing the code. Now we will open our IDLE and create a new file I will save this file, I will name it as dict1.py Now we will open our chrome and we will find some website to scrap data from uh, You can use any website you want but I personally prefer this uh, lexico.com website I will type some word here to get the meaning of it I will, Let's say python uh, so this gives us the meaning of Python. So what we'll do now is, is the important part of this video that is analyzing. So we'll right click on the web, web page and we click on inspect element. Now we can see a cursor here. We'll click on this cursor like thing and we'll click on the area where the meaning is there. So when we click this, a line in this inspect element area is being highlighted. We'll double click on this. Now we can see that we can we, sh we can analyze that there there is our meaning of the word inside this span tag with the class name ind. So we'll keep this aside and we'll start our coding. So first we'll import our first module that is request. Requests. This request. Uh, is used to get the HTML code from this website and another module is from BS4 install beautiful soup the B is capital here and S is also capital now what we'll do is we'll create a variable web and from using request module we will get the data inside the parameters uh, we have to give the link in string form so what we'll do is we'll copy this link of the website and we will paste it here inside the single quotes so what this does is request module uh, gets the html code from this website and stores in web variable actually the code is not being stored the object the code in object form is being stored in web now uh, we'll create a variable data and in this data we will store the content of the object web right then we will create another variable called soup now we have the data in data form now we have to scrap this data right so we will use beautiful soup for that so we'll convert this data in beautiful soup uh, form so what we have to do is we beautiful soup uh, we'll use this module now beautiful soup module we'll have a parameter the parameter is we'll first we'll give the data we'll pass the data in this beautiful soup parameter and we'll write the another code F -E -A -U -F -E -A. features is equal to html dot parser so the meaning of this is uh, it's nothing actually beautiful soup helps us scrap it so we are passing the html data so we are using html dot parser to pass in the html form now we have the uh, data in soup from this soup only we will be analyzing our uh, our uh, target that is this meaning so we'll create another tag another variable called tag and in this we'll write the code soup first i will show you what is in this soup by printing the variable uh, soup for a better understanding 
I'll run and show you this. Okay. Oops, I made a small mistake here. We have to write import. I'm sorry. Now I will execute this. So what we get in soup is a blue color, a yellow color box. Now if we click on this, we will get the code of the HTML. All the codes. The, the thing we saw in the inspect element. So we don't need this right now. That's in the soup. Now that data will we will uh, analyze and we will parse. We'll scrap. So we'll create a variable called tag and we'll use this uh, variable soup variable and we'll use the beautiful soup command find all. Beautiful soup is a very uh, easy to learn and it is very simple. So what we have to find from the soup variable is a span tag with the class name. The class name we saw here is ind, right? Ind. Now I will print this and show you what's in this tag. So we have uh, the meaning of this of this word. And we have many other span tags because there is no one meaning. There are many meanings, right? So we have got all the uh, tags with span and class name ind. Now from this we have to scrap our our uh, content, main content. Create a for loop for i. We should not give space, unnecessary space. For i in tag. The data in tag is in list form. So we'll print this i dot text and we'll print this so we got all the meanings that is in the website uh, we will give the position number so I will give a is equal to 1 here and I will print a here a comma because we need position to see which are the variables so when we run this it's pretty neat we got our meaning of python 1 and 2 we got the position as well but we have to get the input from the user and we have to find the meaning right so for, so for that we will get input from the user and I will store it in m i n p now I will cut this python and I will add our int variable so we are good to go we will print a message here enter the word slash n now we will save this and we will run this code now it's asking us to enter the word let's say we enter java and it gives us the meaning of that word from this website